We were marking those big schools in that deep water, like between the island and that camp. What's that, a catamaran for God's sake? <laughs> that sailboat or whatever yeah. it is? Yeah, let's start fishing right here. Got one on, Jim? Yeah. First blood. <laughs> Nothing like top water. Oh, he spit it, man. I was just about to throw a cast in there, too. No, no, go. Go ahead. I got some fixing here to do, so. Oh. They like this green and yellow. Jitterbug? Jitterbug. Nobody fishes those anymore, the jitterbugs. You know what? I might downsize. I think my popper's a little too big, actually. Well, that's what I'm wondering, because that's the third, the fourth one now I've lost. Well, it makes too much noise when it hits the water. Because yeah. it's calm and flat as it is. Smaller bait makes a softer approach. Big flock of geese over there. basic. Yeah, nothing fancy. But uh, a smallmouth, love this thing. It's just a hair jig, really. Um, I don't know, Mr. Twister or something, but uh, they work really good on these smallies. You know, it's still early, but this, this water's about 78 degrees. I mean, it's warm. No smallmouth. They like the deep, deep little holes. Did you just have one on, Jim? Oh, I thought I thought I heard a splash. Little jigs, they like to get tangled up. Sometimes in the heat of the summer like this, you know, we we can go in shallow and catch a couple on top water early morning and whatnot, but the majority of the fish, especially these smallmouth, um, tend to just find those drop-offs, you know, if you find them on your graph and stuff. And they just, they stack up in, in that cooler, deeper water. So I'm out in about 25 feet, actually, with a little bucktail, with a little uh, hair jig. And caught a couple, a couple of, you know, small ones, small mouth, but nothing too big. But, um, You just kind of got to go with the flow, you know, when they're not, they're not active. I mean, those fish that I caught, they're uh, warm to touch. I mean, this, this, this water is warm. Those smallies don't really like warm water to speak of. They tend to find the deeper holes and stay there, so. Let's see if we can take a couple more up off this little bank. I'm on a ledge. Uh, it was, anyway. A little drop-off. Back paddle a little bit to get back over it, but you never know. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Smally. I think. That's a large one. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Uh. Yeah, nice little small mouth, dude. That uh, green jig. Come on, buddy. Keep it. 
this little smallie. Huh? No, I tied a green hair jig on. First cast. God, those fish are warm. You can take that. I got a couple more if you want them. And he's out, they're out here in the deeper water for sure. Well, I should, uh, <laughs> the fighter. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, these smallmouth love to suck it up. Come on, bud. <laughs> I never get sick of catching smallmouth. Never get sick of it. One more jump. Smoke one more time. <laughs> Love smallmouth bass. Love them. That's why. My God, is he a fighter? That's a nice. That's a pretty decent little fish. To be honest with you. <sighs> Nothing like smallies. Man, I'll tell you. They actually, they really sucked it up. Yep, we found them. They're, uh, they're in deep water, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hollywood. Smalley. I am tearing up these smallmouth out here. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god, that's a nice fish. Come on. That is a huge smallmouth. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him in. Here we go. This is it. That's what we're here for, buddy. Look at that smallmouth. Chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk fish. I just we found this hole out here, and it's just this stack, dude. Whew, look at that. That is a quality, quality smallie, you know? Love these things. Absolutely. Love them. There he is. There he is. Oh, my God, it's a huge pumpkin seed. you got to be kidding me. Wow. Big old pumpkin seed. Oh. Boy, oh boy. It's all right, buddy. You'll go right in the pan. Nah, you're pretty beat up. There's pumpkin seeds. That, my friends. It's a white perch. Found a hole way out. No, not way out. Well, it's out on the lake, but deep hole. I think I've located a school of white perch. Best eating fish swimming right there. This one's going in the fry pan. I love these, it's my favorite fish to eat. Um, absolutely love white perch. Gotta get Jim out here. Gonna have a little fish fry. There you go, Jim. White perch? Yeah. Nice. That's what, we're, that's what we're hunting, Jim. You got flyers on you? I do. Uh, keep 
keeping him, right? <laughs> Get you with the horn? Yep. Twice. Coming in. What about what's, uh, what's your uh put him on the string? Having a nice little fish sandwich tonight. Watch your watch your line though. Yes. Just grab that metal and twist. I'm trying. It's easier said than done. Tell me when you got him. Ten. Nice weighty. Yeah, that's a decent one. Let's go around. That is a decent one. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for the. Oh, here you go. I have a pair of mine back there, but by the time I got them out, it was easier for me to just get yours. Well, see right, what do you think? More. Should I put a little more warm on that, or? Um, that'll do it. That'll be enough. The. Uh, it's a question how much warm we have with us. Didn't really bring much. I, I have so. not used any in this thing yet. Yeah, I was just, boy, I was really going slow with that too, bringing it in. Yep. That's all you gotta do. Got a fish, Jim? That's what I'm shooting for, but I keep catching smallmouth. Smallies are hitting about every cast. Yep, like that. Every cast. Well, we found a pretty good little hole. Oh, missed another one. <laughs> 